afternoon. This is so wonderful to be back again with great news from the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God is forever settled in heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. And we are so glad that we can bring you the Word of God. Amen. And Psalm 119 says, I have hidden your word in my heart mm. that I might not sin against you. Today we're going to speak about the heart, our heart, the inner man, you know, that belongs to the Father and our soul. It is so important and uh, we are so glad that we can, we can uh, share the word with you. I'm going to ask my husband just to open with prayer. Father, we just thank you this afternoon that we can come before you because you are a good God, you are a faithful God. And we thank you that we can share your word, Father God, your word that is true. Amen. Lord, your word that is settled in heaven, your oh, word, yeah. Father God, that directs our steps and our heart, Father God, and our ways. And we thank you as we send for this word that people's lives will be changed. Lord, their hearts will be changed towards you, Father God. Yes, Lord. And they will open their hearts so that you can find residence in their heart. And Lord, so that you can direct their lives. Lord, draw them closer to you, Father God. Redeem them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. We're going to read to you concerning the, 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 the Israelites in, um, in the book of Acts. Where, uh, where God, uh, God, about God's true tabernacle. It says here, Our fathers had a tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he appointed instructing Moses to make it according to the pattern that he had seen, which our fathers, having received it in uh, turn, also brought with Joshua into the land possessed by the Gentiles, whom God drove out before the face of our fathers until the days of David who found favor before God and asked to find a, a dwelling for the God of Jacob but jo but Solomon built him a house uh, however the most high does not dwell in temples made with hand as a prophet says heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool what house Will you bow for me, mm. says the Lord? Amen. Or what is a place of my rest? Has my hand not made all these things? You see, God is the creator of all things. Amen. He created us as well in the inmost part of our mother's womb. Yes. And uh, we belong to our Father God. Yes. When you believe in His true Son, Christ Jesus, the true mm. Messiah as well, that came already, you know, and uh, we worship, we must worship and glorify yes. our Father every day. Mm. And that is what we do. So Israel resists the Holy Spirit. Mm. God is holy and He's a spirit. And we, on the day of Pentecost, mm. when uh, uh, the promise came, when, what, when Jesus, before He ascended into heaven, you can go read it in the book of Acts mm. 1, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me, for God, uh, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. And uh, therefore, when they had, had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And then Jesus ascends into heaven. You know, and he was seated at the right hand of mm. the Father, which up till now, and is reigning from heaven to earth. Amen. Through those that are spiritual and spirit led, we are God's children. We Amen. belong to him. Yes. As I said earlier on. And when Stephen faces all these things, you know, he was he was speaking about the true tabernacle. You know, the, the tabernacle that Jesus has mentioned already, and he has uh, talked about it as well. 
And then he says here, yeah, you know, that, uh, that he, uh, Stephen knew, because mm. he was spiritful and spirit-led, he was full of the power of the Holy yes. Spirit. And Stephen said this, you stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Mm. You always resist the Holy Spirit, mm. as he said here. Yeah. As your fathers did, so you mm. do. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? Mm. And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one, mm. of whom you now become the betrayers mm. and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it. Mm. I, was just, I just want my husband just to mm. explain this verse that I read mm. about the Israel that uh, resists the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yes, yes, you see that this, this Stephen was... Uh, Stephen was saying to the to the Jewish people that arrested him because Paul was the one that persecuted him, and he said they are stiff-necked because they were given the law from the beginning through God through the he says here through the angels because they delivered the law unto the Israelites, but even even although the um, the the prophets uh, pr prophesied and predicted the coming of the Messiah. They didn't recognize the Messiah when the Messiah came. As they pr persecuted the prophets, so they murdered the uh, Messiah, as Stephen says here. But it was because they were stiff-necked, hard-hearted, and they were not circumcised in their heart because the Word of God teaches us those who are Jews, are, uh, real Jews, are the ones who are uh, circumcised in their hearts as well, not only in the flesh. And we can see that Stephen is the one that's teaching them yes. and taking them back to the ancestors, even as he took them back about the tabernacle that Moses built that was a shadow of the tabernacle that is in heaven, which is Christ. Christ is our tabernacle. Christ yes. is the one who dwells within our oh, heart yeah. now. Yes. And God has made this tabernacle within our hearts. Our bodies are the are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that is what Stephen was telling them. But still they couldn't understand because we will see later, they still stoned him. They still, they still uh, uh, martyred him. Yes. And that Paul was there giving his consent to this. And that is what Stephen was uh, talking about. We should, we should be circumcised in our hearts. Yes. We should be circumcised in our spirit. Man towards Christ so that Christ can dwell richly in, in our Amen. lives. Amen. Glory to God. And then now, uh, a soul uh, that persecutes the church in, in uh, chapter 8. We're just going to read from 1 till about um, 8. Now Saul was uh, consenting to his death, and at that time a great persecution arose against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As, Saul, as for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Therefore those who were scattered went everywhere preaching the word of God. Philip went down the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which, which he did. You see, they lived with Jesus. They saw how Jesus has, some, uh, has done all the miracles, the signs and the wonders. He made the, the, the lame to walk. Amen. He made the, the, the even the, those that lame and crippled. And yes. Lame, he made them to walk. He made the, the, the people that died, he made mm. them alive again. Yes. You know, and it speaks about spiritually as well. Mm. If you did sp spiritually, uh, God can make you alive. Yes. Hallelujah. We know that we, He has come to give us life and, and life, life in, in abundance. abundance. 
and life as some Bible says in mm. full. So we know that He is the way, the truth, and the everlasting Amen. life. No one can come to the Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, and Jesus. you know, the miracles that, that Jesus done, the disciples have done it as well. And even in this generation, the disciples are, are of Jesus, mm. we are also disciples of Jesus. We've been praying for many people and God mm. has healed them miraculously. God has God is a healer. Amen. We are just the, the willing uh, 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 vessels mm. that, that we have surrendered all to our Lord yes. Jesus Christ. And we just, uh, if God says pray, mm. we pray. If Amen. God says heal, because we know He's a healer, then Amen. we pray for healing. Yes. We pray healing because we believe that it's only our Lord Jesus Christ that can heal. Amen. And then it says here, for unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, come out of mm. many who were possessed by Satan, and many who were paralyzed mm. and lame were healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are thankful for this. And there was great joy in the city. Yes. The city of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because the people wasn't afraid. You know, because just as after mm. uh Stephen was martyred. He wasn't afraid, you know, uh, when he faced them in the mm. Sanhedrin. He spoke the truth. Amen. Because he knew that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the everlasting yes. life, just as we know today. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And, yes, uh, you know, uh, uh, we God wants us to be the true tabernacles, as it says here, as I read earlier on, that uh, our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. That is speaking about... Uh, uh, the tabernacle mm. of the, what do you call that, that they were carrying? The ark. Yes. yes, they were carrying the ark of the covenant. And uh, that ark of the covenant where Jesus, where God, the living God, mm. has been with them. Cloud by day. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. A glorious cloud by day. Yes. And fire by night. Amen. Were a glorious fire by night. Thank you, Jesus. And that same fire came on the mm. day of Pentecost, as I read to you. You know, that the mm. day of Pentecost, it came with the tongues of mm. fire sitting there with them people. Yes, Lord Jesus. It. And it happened also in Azusa mm. Street, eh? in, in, the, uh, in the early 1900s, mm. was it, or late 1800s, was it late or early 1900s? Early 1900s. Yes, when Azusa Street revival took place of one man that was faithful of being prayerful and not afraid entering in the presence of God. You know, God is only looking for one person, a one man. Mm. You know, as my husband was faithful all these years, you know, he was faithful in praying, seeking the face of God. And I was, uh, 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 what's the name, uh, assisting him and, and praying with him. You know, the word of God says, where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. Amen. Thank and, uh, you, you know, when we come into agreement, mm. and we are so glad, I'm glad for prayerful men and women that doesn't stop praying, that's not afraid to tell mm. the truth. The word is the truth, yes, hallelujah. Amen. Whatever the word says, yeah, it's mm. truthful. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, Stephen was uh, very bold. He spoke to, mm. the, uh, to the Israelites because they didn't rebel against man, but they rebelled against God, the living God. Yes. You know, it even happened in the, in the, uh, the 40 years when they were wandering in the in the what what do you call it again? Desert. The desert. They, they were the wilderness, as some Bible say. They they were also doing it there, but Moses was uh, was the one that could go in the presence of our Lord God. Hallelujah! It's Thank so you awesome. Jesus. You know, and we we are. I've come to a close. It's a short message that mm. we wants to bring out about the presence of the Holy Spirit Thank and you, about Jesus. Him being with us always. He never mm. leave us, even when you face death. When you martyred and that, mm. what uh, I just want my husband to explain what is happening in our country, uh, not in yes, in our country when it comes to some Christian has been martyred here as well, but especially in Ukra Ukraine where some uh, uh, um, and also there in the Middle East where some Christian has been uh, uh, martyred and all that. We just want to encourage their families this day. That we want to say that don't lose heart. Mm. Focus upon Jesus, yes. the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord He's Jesus. the one that will strengthen mm. His Spirit. His Holy Spirit is with you and, and your families. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, as we hear on the news and read in the newspapers what's happening 
all over the world, but especially in the Middle East and mm. there now in Ukraine, yes. our, our people are persecuted for their faith, for believing in the right thing, believing in God, uh, testifying about God, the goodness and the faithfulness of God, carrying them through the war, carrying them through disasters, even as we have in our own nation here in KwaZulu-Natal. But so, the Christian, the Christian people are always persecuted. They are always questioned their motives and all these kind of things. But we know as God has come through for Stephen, as God has come through for the early disciples, mm. God will come through for the disciples and for their families yes. that is suffering with them. Maybe not physically, but spiritually. The families are suffering with them. And we are standing in prayer yes. with them that these things will come to an end soon as we wait the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'm, are we going to end with this uh, scripture that says, the, the Holy Spirit of truth and the spirit of error. It's uh, This you'll find in 1 John uh, chapter 3, where he says, only one verse 24, now he who keeps his commandments abides in him and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit of whom He has given us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome. So uh, let the Holy Spirit mm. empower you today. Yes. And be faithful because Thank God you, is Jesus. more than faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And with that, we greet you. We'll come back with mm. more precious, great news of our Father the, and about His Holy Spirit that lead and guide us in all truth. Amen. Amen. Thank God you, bless Jesus. you. Till the next bless time. You. Bye.